two of Form 1 admission was as hectic as day one, even as selected national and extra county schools for the first time opened their doors to day scholars following a government directive. Timothy Otieno spoke to a few of the students privileged to enroll under the program and filed the following report. Brenda Momanyi is at the Buruburu Girls High School with her parents ready to join secondary school. She will be filling one among the 30 slots created within the school to accommodate day scholars for the first time. Her parents are just as eager about her enrollment as she is. I don't know if I'm going to go to school, but I'm going to go to school and I'm going to go to school and I'm going to go the school is just one among 19 others selected by the Ministry of Education to begin day wings as part of an ambitious government plan to have a 100% transition from primary to secondary education. It's a vision giving many young learners a chance to study at schools they perhaps would never have attended. I think many of the students will 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 have that chance of exploring, you know, that stuff. They will, they will have a chance to nurture their talents. Again, thank you for talking to KT News. I sat down with a few of the students who are joining the school as day scholars. Many of them excited and hopeful about the prospects of their future in academics. Do you like the government program uh, where they have introduced day wings in many of the boarding schools? Yes, because most parents are not able to afford the boarding school so they can go to day schools. The school tells us that there will be 30 day scholars uh, joining this particular school and you are among one of the 30 day scholars. How does that make you feel? <laughs> I feel so happy. <laughs> yeah, I feel just happy because I'm among them and there are very few the scholars, so I'm happy. Some are not used of being bored as me being the one. I see it's okay. So you feel it will give you a chance, an equal chance like other boarders to get same facilities within this institution? Yes. But these girls are among the lucky few already enrolled. Some schools have resisted the ministry's directive, insisting that much more consultation ought to take place before day wing sections are created in national and extra county schools. Buruburu Girls, for instance, has had to start an additional stream for Form 1 to accommodate the influx of students. The school, which traditionally has five streams, will now have six. Already, parents enrolling their children in public day schools do not have to pay a dime to be admitted. The ministry is paying about 22,000 shillings for each child joining secondary school that is meant to cater for tuition, among other services. Do you think it's a good thing to allow parents to have their children in day schooling, especially those parents who cannot afford boarding? Yeah, because there, there are no... People are not at the same category or people... Are, there are, there are different people. Because there, are, there are no people are, are not of the same category or people. Are, there, are, there are different people from different tribes and different things. So, not every every person can have to manage the school fees or etc. Akuna chochote apart from kununua uniform na easy vitu ndogo ndogo. Lakini mambo ya school fees. Sijaona mahali popote wananiuliza. Na hiyo nimeshukuru sana. And as the rollout progresses, many parents plea now is that the government can step in to assist lower the cost of school uniform even as some say they had to pay up to 16 